Hi, I'm Becky Swan from Crafters Companion and I'm going to be taking you through how to make these absolutely adorable circular drawstring bags. You'll be able to make them in nine different sizes, so you'll be able to use them for your toiletries as well as little tiny gifts as well. To show you what these are going to look like, this is the first tiny, tiny one. You can see it pulls together in a little drawstring and then you've got a little popper here. So this is perfect for all your little bits of jewellery um, and little small gifts. But you'll also be able to make a larger size. This one isn't even the largest one we have in the collection. But as you open it up, you can see you'll be able to fit lots and lots of toiletries in here. You use the drawstrings to pull the bag together like so and then popping, using the little popper to seal it all together and you've got this lovely little drawstring bag. So let's show you what you're gonna get inside the template box. So you can see here, you've got your template here. You've got it in nine different sizes, ranging from size one, which is for that tiny jewelry bag, up to size nine, which is the one for that drawstring toiletry bag. And you've also got those different size tabs up here. Now it's very simple to put together and you'll see in our step-by-step -step instruction booklet exactly what you need. As you go through, it will show you all of the sizes and how much of the fabric you need to cut um, for each of these. So we'll talk about um, outer lining, outer fabrics and lining fabrics, interfacing and binding strips. You don't have to use the interfacing, it's entirely up to you. Um, but if you do want to follow the details here, you can see exactly what you need um, in order to create these different designs. So what we're going to do is we're gonna start off by getting all of our pieces together. The first pieces we're going to have are our uh, outer fabric. So this is a circular piece of fabric. We're using a piece of black velvet here. Now the way that this is being cut, the fabric is being folded into quarters and then we used our guide here, this little template, and we've placed that over the folded piece of fabric and then we've just marked um, along size five for this particular one with our heat erasable pen and then we cut that whole quarter like so and opened it up and that's the way to get your first part of your, your little design. You're also going to do the same for your lining fabric, um, so exactly the same, this is just using some of our sew boho fabric. You'll also want to cut out two of these little tabs, so because I've used size five for this design. I've used size five for the little tabs up here. So you can see I've cut two of these here and you can cut another piece out of the interfacing if you want to. Um, I also need to cut some binding um, to go around the edge and the binding instructions for the size that you need are in the front of the instruction manual. You don't actually have a template for these in particular. And um, so we're gonna get started and start putting this together. So the first part we're going to do is we've already cut out these two pieces for our tab. Um, you can put some interfacing on them if you want it to be a little bit more rigid, it's entirely up to you. And what we want to do is we want to stitch all the way around the outside, just leaving a small gap here and um, so we can turn it through. So your little item will look exactly like this with this turning through point. And what we want to do is we want to trim around the edges. So we want to use um, our scissors ideally um, or pinking shears around this little curve. Where we've got these little points here, we want those to be nice and sharp and easy to pop, pop through. So we're just going to trim those with the scissors. So you can see you've just removed that bulk from those corners. And then we're just going to turn it through the other way and then we're going to stitch around the outside. So your little tab will end up looking like this. So this one's being turned through and then stitched all the way around the outside. We then need to add a little popper, a little snap fastener here. We've already done that with this one, so you can use any snap fastener you like to do, whether you use one with um, a punch hole like one of ours, or you want to use one that you stitch on, it's entirely up to you. So you've got this little tab already put, put together. So you've got your circular piece of fabric here, this is your outer piece of fabric, and we want to put a snap fastener on one end, and on the other side we want to put the little tab that we've already created. So you want to put it around about one and a half to two inches from the edge of this. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to fold this over to make sure it's nice and straight, and I basically want to pop it over here. So I'm gonna pop a little pin in that little place so I can make sure um, I'm putting it in exactly where I want it to be so it makes sense that it's uh, opposite to where the other piece of the snap fastener is. So I want to place it around about here, like so. So I'll just pop my pin in there. And you can see now I've got my snap fastener facing inwards and then I've got this little popper here. So when I've made my bag, this little snap fastener will then come around 
and the snap into here. So I'm just going to stitch that together using the sewing machine. Trim those little threads away and you're ready for the next stage. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these little binding strips and what we're going to do is we're going to fold these in half like so and we're going to give them a bit of a press just to make sure that's a nice straight edge here. So we'll just finger press for that for a moment and I'll take it over to the ironing board. And then what we want to do afterwards is we want to fold these edges in around about a quarter of an inch and then fold them again. And it just means we've got a nice finish on either side of these. You've got these little edges that are folded in like so and this isn't being nicely pressed. Then we're going to take our lining fabric so this is the, the orange lining fabric that we've got here. Now you want two of these strips and what we're going to do is we're going to pin them and then we'll stitch all the way across here until we come to the end and then we'll do the same with the other side as well. Now you just want to start your sewing around about half an inch before the edge of uh, your, your little bit of binding and you want to finish around about half an inch as well just to finish that off and you'll end up with something that looks like this so you can see you've got a little gap in between here with these two pieces of that binding fabric that's it's been stitched all the way across the next stage we're going to do is we're going to put those two pieces together so we're going to take the piece of the outer fabric with the little tab fastener on it and we're going to place that over the top here and um, now I found I wanted my tab fasteners to be um, a sort of a quarter of the way across from where these little gaps are and this is where your pull through cord is going to be but it's entirely up to you how you want to put them together so you're just going to put the, um, the lining piece of fabric with that little binding and also your black outer fabric together now great to use quilting clips for this so we just go all the way around and then we're going to stitch all the way around but we're going to leave a little bit of a gap so say a gap around about here in order for us to turn it out. So the item will look like this when we've stitched it together. So you can see we've stitched all the way around. We've got a little bit of a gap here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this through. So you can see you've got your lining fabric, you've got your board, your little binding, and you've got your outside piece of fabric in there as well. Now we're going to use the cord to go around the outside. So we're going to run the cord through these channels here. Um, so you've got the little spaces in between um, to pull the cord out of. Um, but we're going to be using a little uh, going to be using a little safety pin just here. And I'm just going to pop that through that little hole at the bottom of the safety pin. And I'm going to tie a knot here so I don't lose it. So we're going to push this through all of the channels all the way round and out through here and then we're going to do the same with the other one but going in the other direction. Just going to undo that little knot here and we're going to take these two pieces, oops, two pieces here and we're just going to tie a knot in that. So once you've gone through all of that binding and you've got those cords there, you can just pull those two pieces together and then pop this over the top and your little bag is already finished. <laughs>